What do you want? You, Mr. Jennings. We want you. My name's not Jennings. Wife, Elizabeth. Children, Paige and Henry. Runs DuPont Circle Travel. Seems to be out late at night quite a bit. Lives across the street from an FBI agent. Also, the details of his life before 1963 seem to be a bit... hazy. We know who you are. And what you are, Mr. Jennings. You commie prick. Hey, guys. I need you to move these trucks. You're blocking our exit path. Parked over as far as we can. Only other option is the street. Street works. Probably for the best. Something on your mind, Lieutenant? Oh, yeah. Listen, Captain Delaney. We appreciate you taking us in while our house is being fumigated. As if we had a choice. And I'm sorry if you felt disrespected earlier. But you heard Chief Bowden, 50 Williams first on scene. It's well within my purview to retain command. Still need you to move these trucks. No, you don't. Looks to me like you're intentionally blocking us so you can be first on the scene again. Oh. Hey. You know, maybe you should stop worrying about getting your picture in the paper and focus more on saving lives, huh? You mean like the driver of the electric vehicle this morning? That's exactly who we mean. The one trapped inside a burning car while you were arguing over jurisdiction. Right. The one you couldn't save. Okay. Hey! Thank you. But it is my favorite new student, Bindu, and uh, her friend. So did you finally come in here to sign up for Akadaka? Uh, no. No? <gasps> Mathletes. Oh my God, can you imagine her on the team? We'd okay. finally be able to kick Cathedral High's boot day. Uh, no, actually, I'm testing out of school. What, what are you talking about? It's only been a couple weeks. Uh, it's been too many. <laughs> well, come on, you're gonna miss the winter formal. Wonderful theme this year, and I'm sure uh, your friend would be greatly disappointed. As Bindu's friend and a student who's been here for three years, Peter, I feel like her mind is pretty made up. OK, so what you're telling me, Paul, is she's going to take some time to think about it. Good, smart, you. Uh, and all these military issue assault weapons I see there for your new militia, or what? There's no militia. It was dissolved in 2009. OK, so now you're an independent contractor, online sales? Are you arresting me for something? Because I'd like to see a warrant. And we connected five of your men to his cult. I have nothing to do with Joe Carroll and his house of psychos. House. What house? I don't want to say any more until I uh, speak with my lawyer. John Caldwell. I was calling just to ask you a yes or no question. Is that all right? Fine. Are you potentially interested in trading Microsoft? Today? Not with you guys. I have a guy looking for a pretty big chunk, maybe half a mil. Does that interest you? Potentially. Sure. My guy's real. He's on the phone. For one call, and that's you. Half a mil? On the wire. Last print, in or out. Put it up. Great. Now. This is just me asking, would you be able to go larger? Are you trying to front run me? No, you just gotta trust me just a little bit, okay, John? Two million. Could go to two million here. Make it read two. It's two million your total picture. Is he trying to move more? Come on, what's he saying? Are we done here? Let's go. All right, gentlemen, I'm on the phone with both of you right now. I think this ticket reads five million and we all walk away. That'd be on a cleanup? It's a cleanup, John. Okay, fine. Put it up. But, oh, Tom, you'll still be in the box for a week, though. How far a little trust can get you? Oh, yeah. How do you know Nikki? We're hanging. Oh, you must talk a good game, huh? Beating out those high profilers, chasing that tail? <laughs> you got a real deal reel? You'd watch my reel. This. Don't waste time. Will... God damn it. Why is nothing working in this office? What's the problem? Stupid mouse. The mouse is stupid. Listen, by the way, there's this kid, Jordan Banks. He went away for the weekend and didn't check in with his mommy yet. <laughs> Big surprise there. His mom's been up my dick hole like a goddamn kangaroo. Sounds painful. It is. <laughs>